Place the bottom spring tube onto the floor yoke, aligning the holes of the spring tube with those of the floor yoke and insert bolts. It may go in easily by hand. If not, use the socket wrench. Do not completely tighten any of the bolts yet as this will be tightened in step three. Continue to the other side and repeat these steps. Place the wall mount bracket on the outside of the floor yoke. If you are using a 10 inch thick mattress with 2 inches of bedding, totaling 12 inches in thickness, set the yoke assembly measuring 16 inches from the front of the floor yoke to the back of the wall mount bracket. Put the bolt through the washer and insert the bolt with the bolt head on the outside of the bracket in the hole closest to the front. Insert the other bolt with washer in the hole closest to the back. Now add the washer and nut. Do not fully tighten any of the bolts yet so you can adjust later. This will be done on the final step, step 20. Continue to the other side and repeat these steps. Place the yoke connector bar in front of the floor yoke, aligning the holes on the connector bar with those of the floor yoke and insert bolt, and then thread the nylock nut onto the bolt and turn the nut clockwise with your hand until it no longer turns. This will be the point that the thread of the bolt contacts the nylon insert of the nut. Continue to the other side and repeat these steps. Now slide the wrench onto the nylock nut and the socket onto the bolt head. Turn the handle of the socket wrench clockwise to turn the bolt into the nylock nut. You will feel some resistance from the bolt as you tighten it to the nylock nut. This is created by the nylon insert and is completely normal. Before securing the yoke assembly to the wall, first square up the yoke assembly. Now tighten all of the bottom bolts in place. Proceed to the top and tighten the upper bolts and nylock nuts, if needed. The yoke assembly is now complete. Remember, in the final step, step 20, you may need to adjust the wall mount bracket on the yoke assembly to allow for the correct mattress or mattress and bedding thickness. This is so that the bed operates at the minimum distance from the wall. Here you will tighten all four of the bolts and nylock nuts in place. Behind your drywall, there is either wood or metal framing. The yoke assembly will be anchored to the structural member of the framing. Either the bottom wood plate of the wood framing or, for metal framing, the bottom metal track. Both the bottom wood plate and metal track run horizontally along the floor. Position the yoke assembly in the desired location for installation. However, you may need to remove any existing shoe molding or any thin strip of molding against your baseboard. This is to ensure the wall mount bracket is attached flat against the wall or baseboard.
Here we are going to install the next bed at least 22 inches from the corner. This will allow for a person to easily get out of bed. Should you decide to drill a pilot hole, make sure to use a 1 8 drill bit or less in size. Do not use a drill bit greater than 1 8. This is so that the screw threads will have holding power and stripping resistance. The drill bit needs to be the same size or less than the inner shaft of the screw. When holding up the drill bit to the screw, you should see the entire screw threads on both sides of the drill bit. We suggest to pre-drill a pilot hole in the baseboard molding in a slight downward angle through one of the lower holes of the wall mount bracket. Common residential baseboard materials include solid wood, medium density fiberboard, and PVC. By pre-drilling a pilot hole with a 1 8 inch drill bit, this will make it easier to drive a screw through the baseboard molding by reducing the force you need to use when screwing into the various materials, and this will likely create an accurate path for the screw. Now attach the yoke assembly with the required screw. Now that the yoke assembly is held in place with the one screw, pre-drill pilot holes in a slight downward angle through the rest of the lower holes of the wall mount bracket. Then position the drill by raising it to create more of a downward angle and pre-drill pilot holes through the upper holes of the wall mount bracket. As this wall has wood framing, we are using the 3 inch wood screws to attach the yoke assembly securely to the bottom of the wall. If your wall has metal framing, the required screws are the 3 inch self tapping metal screws. Now insert and drive the rest of the screws through the wall mount bracket, baseboard molding and drywall in a downward angle. It's important that the required screws will go into the structural member of the framing and anchor the yoke assembly.